a herd of urban deer enjoy snacking on vineyard grapes. A Glens Ferry winery is paying the price. We spoke with leaders about the ongoing efforts to reduce the loss of crops. It isn't so much the amount that they eat as they pull the, the clusters on and then drop them on the ground. And so there's a lot of waste. Around 25 deer ravaged the vines at Why Not Winery beginning in the spring, resulting in a loss of tens of thousands of dollars per year. The grapes lost are used to make their most popular red wine. We grow what's called a Limburger grape for our Blue Noir wine. And there are only about 80 acres in the entire Northwest. We have about six acres. So it's not something that we're able to, to go out and replace with grapes from somewhere else. Why Not owner Teresa McCallum is working with Idaho Fish and Game to address the issue. After attempts using non-lethal methods to change the herd's behavior were unsuccessful, Fish and Game has been translocating the deer just above the Nevada border. You pre-bait an area uh, where we know deer are coming in pretty heavily, um, so trying to get them localized to that one spot, and then we'll be able to deploy a drop net. Then the deer are netted. We'll drop the net on top of them um, as quickly and safely as possible for both us and the animals. We'll get them um, put together and into the trailer and move them uh, to a more suitable location. When it comes to the grapevines, McCallum says translocating the herd has been successful so far. Bella Bright, Idaho News 6.